Well, welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. It is Tuesday, December 26th, 2017. New Year's Eve is about to get lit. Firecrackers go on sale starting today. And Island News reporter Mackenzie Stasco live outside Don Quixote. Now, Mackenzie uh, opens right now. Doors just open there to get those firecrackers. So what's all going on? Very good. Thanks, Mackenzie. Well, a tragic ending in the search for a missing Mililani boy on Christmas morning. Seven-year-old Paul Kevin Rosier was found dead. And a tearful group gathered outside this unoccupied home on Ananiya Drive where the boy's body was found floating in the backyard swimming pool. Kevin's parents confirmed he was autistic and last seen wandering from home around five Sunday night. Now both Honolulu police and Crime Stoppers reached out for help to find him. Word spread quickly through social media with neighbors, family and friends joining in on the search. First we went up to Walmart and then like checked all around over there and then we went up to Milani Malco and we just like went all over. We started looking for him at like 5.30. Now, Kevin's cousin told us he was a sweet and polite boy loved by many. The family appreciates all the support they've received, but right now, mom, dad, and three-year-old sister Penny are asking for their privacy. Honolulu police report no signs of foul play. Big Island police are investigating a suspicious death after a body was found burnt beyond recognition in Puna this morning. This at Orchidland subdivision. Police and firefighters arrived on scene, finding a truck engulfed in flames around 10 Christmas morning. Right now, police classify the case as murder. They believe the incidents related to evidence found at another property in the area. Anyone with information is asked to call police at 935-3311. I'll take a look outside now. Jordan, we're talking about bog and rain in the forecast. Temperatures here for Christmas, so nice. Yesterday, these were taken by me in Lanakai, and temperatures were in the upper 70s to 80s. So, so nice and warm. Didn't even feel like Christmas. Wintry weather, not a problem over here. But back east, it was definitely a different story. Take a look. In Boston, heavy snow temporarily shut down runways at Logan International. The slick conditions also being blamed for a close call. A jet blue flight while landing, hitting a patch of ice spinning and skidding off the runway. We were straight and then all of a sudden it started fishtailing and uh, yeah, and it started getting rough. Now, as the Airbus A320 slid off the runway, it spun out of control, performing a 180 degree turn. It eventually faced toward the opposite direction and it was left between two runways. There were no injuries reported. The pilot said that spin, it was due to the ice on the runway. Jordan? the true meaning of Christmas. Okay. Jordan, it was so great to see uh, those meals being delivered. Not only were they meals, though, yeah. like you said, there was also necessities like flashlights and things that our Kapuna really, really needs. So, so good to see that. Absolutely. Yeah, very good. Well, a time now, 6.09, coming up after the break. Jordan will have more on the full weather forecast. Also, what's going on outside on the roadways and that's, morning shaka. Yeah, that's right. In our morning shakas, a server, he gets a big tip for... Pretty much just being himself. That's right. We'll find out and hear from him right after the break.